Hi, welcome everyone today. Uh, today it's going to be something a little bit different because I've actually got a bad foot so I can't walk very far. Um, it's nothing too serious so I'm hoping it'll pass within the next couple of weeks and I should be out in the field again. So what I'd like to do today is show you guys how I can expand my pictures in Photoshop. I, if I've nearly cut a space off that I really wanted, like if the subject is too far over to one side, how I extend the photograph to give me more room. So let's go onto the computer now and uh, see how I do it. Okay, I'm in Lightroom now, so what I want to do is add a little bit more space over on this right hand side because if I put this picture of this baby grey seal into a frame it cut off the last bit of its flippers, I believe you'd call them flippers anyway, and uh, then maybe straight after we've done that straighten out the photograph and edit it as normal because if I tried straightening the photograph now it cut off just the little end bit and you don't want that so if I go into Photoshop this will take a while a little bit of time so what I want to do is lengthen it so the easiest way I found is to go up to image and choose a different canvas size. Now I'll do it in inches because I understand that a bit more. So currently it's 23.2 inches is the width. So I don't want any on the height, I just want it a bit wide should I say. So I want a little bit of room so if I go to 25 and hit OK, my background colour is going to be white. You can see it's just a little bit wider. Now, if I put this in the frame now, it, the frame would come up to here probably. And we can always cut out this room here. So let's get on to it. Uh, what I normally do is I'll, I'll use the clone tool which is this clone, well, clone stamp, they call it. And I'll, you, to hit the Alt button on a PC, I believe it's the command on a Mac. And I've got the opacity at 100 and the flow at 27. So if we come down a bit on the flow to about 25%, that way it makes the seam down here a little bit easier so you would need to hit control or sorry alt first to get this little round space to select it and just paint in a little bit you can see it's making a pretty decent bit but once you start getting higher up you just want to hit alt again so you get the right space a bit like that this is going to take me a little while so I'll speed it up for you Okay, so you can see that's done a pretty decent job there. So now what I want to do is get rid of this white line down here. So what I'll do 
is I'll just use the crop tool and just pull that in uh, something like that and hit the check and now you'll see instead of it being so far close it's a lot better now if you wanted to go a bit more all you'd have to do is go back up to image canvas size choose your inches again and it's at 24 now so we would just put in a bit more so maybe 26 not 226 and hit OK I'll move this over a bit for you and we'd just do it again so hit the clone stamp leave all the other settings the same hit control sorry hit alt not control on PC and just do the same again and that way you'll get some more this time I'll leave this a bit of stone in because it just breaks it up a little bit makes it look a little bit more natural so while I do this I'll uh, fast forward through it again for you and uh, we'll see what we end up with afterwards So now I'll go back into the crop tool, crop off that side and that is a lot better, it's more centralised because this one will work pretty well I think for being fairly central because it's just at rest and if you look closely at its eye it's pointing more towards the sand so uh, I think that'll pretty much do for that part of the process anyway. So now what I'll do is I'll save it, which is Control and S on a PC. And then I can just X out and go back into Lightroom. So back into Lightroom now, this is the one we've just done. That is the one that we had, so you can see it's nice, you've got more of a edge on it. So now what I want to do is straighten it. So if I just hit the crop tool, hit auto, and that straightened it. So a lot of what we added has been cut off. But like I said earlier, if I hadn't done, it would have actually cut off the end of the seal. But this one is okay. So we've got this up at the top, which is okay. It, I probably should have taken that out as well. But I can always do that after. In fact, no, I'll do it now and then we'll... Uh, go into the rest of the edit. Okay so I'm back in Lightroom now and uh, yeah I think that's worked, worked out pretty well really. Um, as you can see I've got a lot of noise because it was really low light when I took this. Um, yeah 1500 ISO 2500 so uh, Yeah, uh, what I can do now is send it into Topaz and uh, probably denoise and I'll show you the final image after I've done all that. Okay guys, I run it through Topaz and as you can see it's a lot better than what it was but I'm still not quite happy so I'll probably bring up the clarity just a little bit and a little bit of the texture 
Maybe just a touch of dehaze. Not a lot because the dehaze tool is really strong. I mean, it's just brought out that there, which I'll probably alter that. Yeah, something like that. There we go, that looks a lot better. So yeah, I hope that's helped you all. It's just a little quick tip, seeing as I can't get out, basically. So, if you've liked this video, if you find it of any use to you, please hit the like button, it really helps my channel. If you're new here and you've liked what you see, please hit that subscribe button and if you do don't forget to hit the bell icon that way you'll be notified of new content that I upload so until next time I'm hoping to be out in the field <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I'm thinking about trying to find some marsh harriers which I know a pretty decent spot for them so until then take care stay safe and sane and we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Bye.